the Fed cut rates, but what does that mean? You've probably heard by now that the Fed just lowered the rates by about 50 basis points or half a percent. And the good news is that more cuts are likely to be seen through this year and into 2025. But I, what I wanted to share with you right now is some insight on what this actually means for home buyers and sellers and everyday folks. So many of my clients were a bit surprised and disappointed that mortgage rates did not move lower immediately after the announcement. Well, let me tell you all, this is because the recent rate cut was already factored into mortgage rates as lenders had started to move rates lower in anticipation of this news about, I don't know, four to six weeks ago. Since the Fed delivered what the market expected, they delivered on their promise, these improved rates could stick around for quite a while. However, we do anticipate some future rate cuts that are likely but will depend on inflation, employment, and overall economic trends. So lower mortgage rates are likely to increase buyer demand, which we're already seeing, making the market more competitive very soon. So right now, sellers are open to negotiations. Many of our buyers are getting tons of concessions paid by sellers. It's still what a lot of people would call a buyer's market. And then there are some very special programs that some lenders are offering to help with down payments and rate discounts still if you're looking for even lower rate and more affordability. So if you're considering buying, now really is a great time to get ready to act quickly because as these rates move lower, we anticipate this pent up demand to cause more buyers jumping into the market and a more competitive landscape. We do still have more inventory than we've seen in about 10 years and so there are a lot of choices for buyers to choose from and sellers are still having to be very competitive when pricing their homes. In the city of Austin, we did see the median price once again, several months in a row, go up slightly compared year over year. So back to that Fed rate cut, this is also good news if you have credit cards or a home equity line of credit, since you may save money as those rates decrease car loans will also become less expensive. Don't be rushing out to buy a brand new car if you think you're gonna go buy a house. Um, buy your house first. Anyway, um, and more about that later. If you're thinking of buying right now or just want more information about what these rate cuts actually mean and how it could affect the market for either at, for you as a buyer or a seller, then let's chat. I would actually love to hear your thoughts on, on what you think of this going into the election and going into the new year. Are you thinking of buying? Are you thinking of selling? Which are you gonna do first? I am here to help you navigate this ever-changing market and challenging landscape that is real estate.